This chimney cake recipe takes pride in being Hungary's oldest pastry, a popular street food often made using hot coals in open flames. But we are making it without any special equipment, right in the comfort of our kitchen. So let's get started. In a large mixing bowl, add one teaspoon salt, three cups, that is 360 grams of flour, two tablespoons sugar, and one and a half teaspoon instant yeast. Give them a quick mix using a wooden spoon. Create a well in the center to add the wet ingredients that includes 50 grams yogurt or you can use one egg instead if you prefer followed by melted butter vanilla and milk form this mixture into a cohesive dough Transfer the dough to your work surface and knead till it becomes soft and supple. But the trick here is to coat your worktop with some oil instead of using dry flour as we usually do. This prevents the dough from getting dried out during the kneading process. And then simply start kneading the dough. But for those of you who think that kneading is a laborious task, let me tell you, it actually is super easy with this simple trick. All you have to do is push the dough away from you using the heels of your palms, fold it back to the center, turn it, and then repeat the steps multiple times till you have the smoothest dough. And the best part, you do not have to apply any force, pressure, or strength onto it. Just keep it gentle and simple. That way, you won't tire yourself out. So knead this for about 10 to 13 minutes until it is soft, smooth and tacky and then it is time to prove it. For that simply use the bowl in which you had started the process of making the dough, grease it with oil really well, place the dough and also turn the dough around so that it is coated with oil on all sides. Oh, the Cover the bowl with the cling wrap and let it brew for about an hour in a warm place, allowing it to double in size. Alternatively, to expedite the proofing process, consider utilizing your instant pot. The instructions for the same is given in the description box below. While the bread dough is proofing, prepare your soda cans by wrapping them with aluminium foil. And this is the trick that we are going to use to make that classic chimney cake shape. So to do this, tear out squares of aluminium foil, then place a soda can. Oh yeah, by the way, make sure that the soda can is empty. <laughs> so place the soda can. So place the empty soda can on one end of the foil and roll it up to cover the can completely. Ensure the edges are sealed on the top and bottom to enclose the can securely. Repeat this process for all the four to six cans that you are planning to use. I could get six chimney cakes out of this recipe, but I just had four cans handy. So I made four cakes in one batch and then reused two of the uh, cans to make it up to six chimney cakes. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain Beauty in the Monday Now that's done, in a separate wide mouth bowl, combine the sugar and cinnamon powder to prepare the cinnamon sugar mixture as well. After the dough has finished proofing, gently punch it down and roll it out into a large rectangle that is roughly less than a quarter of an inch in thickness. Tiptoe. 
Using a pizza cutter, bend scraper or knife or whatever tool you have handy, cut the dough into long strips or long ribbons about 1 cm in thickness. Now, do not bother about getting it into a perfect rectangular shape or you know, cutting it into perfect 1 cm thickness. This really doesn't matter because at the end we are going to roll it on top of the soda can. So, it's just okay. Just, just don't bother too much. Chill and enjoy the process. <laughs> But what is important is to grease the outside of the soda can with oil or cooking spray. So this would ease the process of removing the chimney cake once baked. So this step is important and uh, do not forget to do it. Then starting from the bottom of the can, wrap the strip of dough around the can in a spiral motion, slightly overlapping each layer as you go. Continue wrapping until you reach the top of the can, ensuring that the dough is evenly distributed and there is no gaps. Now do not freak out if there is a little gap here and there, it's okay because once the can is fully covered, we are going to gently roll it on top of our countertop to even out the dough. So this would fill out any gaps if there is. Place the wrapped cans upright on a baking pan ensuring that they are evenly spaced and repeat the process until all the cans are covered. Roll each wrapped can in the prepared cinnamon sugar mixture ensuring they are evenly coated. Now this sugar is what will caramelize and become crunchy during baking giving the chimney cakes their characteristic crunchy texture once baked. So bake the prepared chimney cakes in the preheated oven of 160 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes or until golden brown and cooked through. Allow it to cool to touch before attempting to release chimney cake from the tin foil. To remove, simply twist the cake gently and then pull firmly. And that's it. The moment it comes out, you feel a sense of achievement that is immeasurable. <laughs> Now let me tell you, traditional chimney cakes, those found on the streets are often served plain uh, but we can also serve it in different ways as you can see in the video ahead to enhance the flavor. Consider serving these sweet treats with a side of chocolate or caramel sauce for an extra touch of sweetness. Alternatively, filling them with ice cream or whipped cream with your favorite nuts drizzle of sauce would take it to another level. Um, and for a crunchy twist, you can also try rolling the dough in coconut or ground walnuts before baking which is very popular variations of Hungarian kartosh kalash found at many tourist hotspots today. Uh, by the way, doesn't this bread look similar to our Indian Iyengar bakery cream cones? If you could relate then comment yes in the comments and talking about Iyengar Bakery, consider watching our Dil Pasand or Rava Cake video next. Until then, this is Sushma signing off. Take care. Bye-bye.